Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. Well, rather, welcome back to Natalie the Dawn. I'm Shadow Fury 33, your host, once again, for another exhibition match between Icons and Snuggle Base on Vitra. So, Vitra, as a map, for those of you not familiar, is kind of more of a 2v2 map than a 1v1 map. As you can see, you start out with two triple spots, uh, two triple mech spots on both sides, and a fairly wide area. So usually what happens is people on 1v1 will expand along the plateau, and then usually kind of expand in rings. Though occasionally you do see focus on one side or the other, usually it's in rings. Usually it's just the nearest mexes to the next set of mexes to the next set of mexes. Icon's going for a shield bot, and Snugglebase also on shield bot. Shield bot mirror, which is interesting. I'm curious to see what will happen here. Last time we saw Snuggle Base in this map, they went for pretty much pure bandit in a way to kind of... Well, it was against Lodri, who was going cloaky, in a way to kind of sort of trick Lodri into going for Sharpshooter, as they normally would against a Shield Ball. But being that this is a Shield Mirror, I would expect we're either going to see dueling Shield Balls, or we are just going to see a bunch of bandits just running around. Definitely going to see a lot of bandits running around for the early part of the game. With shield balls, I don't know. Shield ball against shield, you have disarm from the racketeer. That really messes with shield balls. We might still see it, but it's just there are a lot of good options for dealing with it from the shield bot factory. Like, well, rather the racketeer, but the racketeer alone is a really good option. And then of course roaches. You just stick roaches in the ground, blow them up. Ticks require follow up, but roaches just destroy everything, and they don't care about shields that much. Or at least it's very easy for a Roche to be inside of a shield ball as it walks over them. However, Outlaws do deal with Roaches, so it'll be interesting. There's a lot of counterplay that can go on in the shield bot and mirror matchup. But for now, it's just going to be pure Bandit. Icons being the more aggressive party at the moment. And... Snuggle Base being a bit more defensive, but also a bit more economical. The only downside is going to be whether... Well, for Snuggle Base, if they can defend, but they should be able to. They have enough metal... They had the build power, they had the lotuses. Icons, on the other hand, just now getting the build power over here. And while they're being aggressive, they're still they're quite worried about getting counterattacked immediately. Setting up that lotus first. But if they can deal damage, that'll work. If they can't deal damage, however, and I don't know if they can, the main base actually only has the one defender. If these bandits go immediately north, if they go north, then they'll have a bit of a better chance. Bandits going over to the west side of the map, which actually very few of them. They're going to have a harder time, but right now, Icons is in a position where they kind of have to deal some damage. And they're behind economically. They need to raid. They need to raid successfully, and it doesn't look like they're going to. It looks very much like they're not going to. In fact, it looks like they're going to completely fall apart trying to raid this. So instead, retreating, regrouping, and hoping to try to get something better, try to build their economy faster. But, I mean, Icons is going heavily aggressive, but or rather, heavily militarized. They're going for a heavily military-focused economy, but they're not... Rather, more focused strategy. Their economy is not the focus. Their military is the focus. And they aren't making the most of it. Because at this point, Snuggle Base, they have the economy to outpace Icon's military spending. Icon's just now, and not even just now, quite evened out. But that's the thing. Right now, Icon's just. Icons could actually do the raiding that Snuggle Base wanted. Sorry, Snuggle Base could do the raiding that Icons wanted to do. But Icons could actually go in, and they are looking to go in for a counterattack raid. Snuggle Base, not aware of this, not really having much radar coverage. I mean, they have some radar coverage, but they're not. Okay, now they're aware of it. They are aware of it in time. Retreating away from Icons' smaller force, which is not that big of a deal. Retreating is usually a bad idea. Or, sorry, retreating is usually a good idea. That's fine. But right now, Icons forcing Snuggle Base to advance into their force. The Snuggle Base getting hit right between the two sides of the base, the main base. Unfortunately, Icons going towards the Lotuses, not going towards the less defended and factory built area. That's where the factory is. That's more importantly where the where the wind generators are. Some metal extractors are being destroyed, but at great cost. These bandits are going down heavily. But finally, at least Icons got some raiding, and that's the important thing. Just, they need to get more raiding in. They need to get this area taken care of, the main base, and they are going towards it. But if they lose those bandits, that's going to be a problem. Oh boy. These, yeah, these bandits are dead. Icons, unfortunately, not getting any real harassment going. All that damage just going to get reclaimed away. Snuggle Base will very easily be able to build back from this. 
Icons, on the other hand, getting yet another dozen or so bandits. But they did not attack the right side. They guessed wrong. They really needed to attack this side as it has its weaker defenses. It has the wind generator, so the power that Snuggle Base desperately needs to avoid accessing, basically. They need that to build. And the factory. If they get rid of the factory, that's huge. But now with the outlaw up, there's no easy way for those bandits to attack. Snuggle Base in a commanding position right now. And it looks like they're going for the kill. Icons just now, just now expanding to the sides? Icons is way behind. I and mean, that was an extremely risky opening, and it did not pay off. Icons has has their own outlaw, but even then, I don't know. That's going to be... I still think there's just too much. And now that the outlaw has been revealed, Snuggle Base will just build a rogue. No, Icons going quick for Shield Ball. Immediately going for Felon Thug. They, don't have, they do not have shield support right now. They have no convicts. They have no thugs. They have the Felon. They're probably going to try to get the Felon and Thug all at once before attacking with it, but still. They're just immediately going for that endgame shield ball. And they have less money. They're desperately building up their economy, but they still have less money to work with. And they have far less energy. They have they're accept they cannot build as quickly as they'd like. They do not have the energy for it. They desperately need more energy. And Icons widget goes off, make energy. I'm surprised that goes off when it that goes off really late. Like that should go off immediately when the when it's gone down. When it's when it's flashing red, that's when the make E message should come up. Not right before you start accessing metal. Because that's what's happening now. Icons is now gonna be accessing metal. At least in theory. Where's... Seriously, where... You just saw the message icons to make energy. Make energy. So felons up with one thug as support. Now against bandits, felons do do fairly well. But there's going to be rogues coming up most likely. And I don't know. Snuggle Base is still going for pure bandit. There really should be rogues. Like outlaws are out. Felon Ball is definitely out. Rogues and racketeers will work beautifully here. Snuggle Base going around for the raiding though. I think the fact that Snuggle Base knows Icons doesn't have energy means that Snuggle Base is getting a little bit confident, and they should, really. Especially given that they have twice the they have twice the economy. Icons early rating totally backfired. Completely and totally backfired. Because right now Snuggle Base has the strong economy. Very strong economy. They have getting the Thunderbird up just in case, because well, that's definitely what they need. Is that actually part of the widget? If that's part of the widget, wow, Icons is pretty self-deprecating, but okay. Very amusing. But yeah, I, there we go, Icons finally making energy. At the rather loud insistence of their widget. Seriously, I'm quite surprised that actually is a thing. But Snuggle Base. Well, they're not going to have much trouble with this, I don't think. The only downside is that they don't have... They have the Thunderbird to deal with the Felon. And the Thunderbird's up, actually. That's the Vulture, not the Thunderbird. Thunderbird is up, so this will be... Yeah, this is it. Felon's down. Bandit's going to come in to just tear this apart. And that'll probably be game. I don't think Icons has any way out of this. They didn't build energy. And they also went for a heavy raid strategy early on without actually raiding heavily. That's always the thing you gotta do. You have to raid. If you're gonna go heavily aggressive, you have to raid. Otherwise, you're wasting your money compared to your opponent, who is building up economy. You're basically trying to punish your opponent for building early economy without building defenses. And Icons had an opening. They just kind of guessed wrong which opening it was. And didn't go for the energy. And also, surprisingly, didn't retreat when they saw that there was no energy in the side they were attacking. Or factory or anything, and that's clearly the wrong side. But you want to attack the side with the energy, possibly with the factory. Definitely with the energy. The factory, I wouldn't say, is a general rule. And more Thunderbirds coming in. This is basically Snuggle Base's game. Anything that Icons tries to do will be countered by Thunderbirds. And Icons, they might have enough money to get up some Swifts to take out the Thunderbirds, but they aren't investing in that at all. They actually aren't investing in enough to begin with. They, they need another factory or another caretaker or more workers or something. Oh, they have no caretakers to begin with. Yeah, they need to invest in more stuff. 
Because they are accessing and they have the energy to actually use that money. Use that metal. And Snugglebay is building storage for... Why are you building storage? Are you planning on bursting out something? Or not bursting out. Are you planning on just pushing out something with a bunch of metal all at once? Because it doesn't look like it. And the reclaim isn't going to be a problem. Plenty of it, though. How much is there? Okay, Snuggle Base has got several thousand metal worth of reclaim at their disposal. So this, yeah, Icons is down. Pretty much down for the count. They've, it may not look it, but Snuggle Base, they're not going for the, why are you not going for the reclaim? What the heck? Static economy can wait. Go for the reclaim. I mean, Snuggle Base could produce, I mean, they have 20 more energy than metal. They can push a lot. And they have enough build power to use all that metal if they reclaim. I don't know what they're waiting for. But whatever it is, it's... Clearly, I mean, why are they building that first? Whatever. Doesn't matter, they just need that reclaim, and then that's... That's several minutes worth of an extra plus 20. That's several minutes worth of as much metal as energy, as much metal as build power. Like, 1,800... Even if it's getting plus 30 off that, that still lasts for about 15 minutes, I think? No, that's not right. 1800 divided by 20. No, that lasts for a minute and a half. But still, a minute and a half being that full up, that's awesome. If they go for it. But they're not. If anything, they're letting Icons. I'm not quite letting Icons take it, but if Icons breaks this area, then Icons could take that reclaim. They just need the energy, though. That's the problem. Icons is not making the energy they need. They really aren't... Where are their workers? Yeah, they're reclaiming metal, but they aren't building energy. They need to build solar plants around. But it doesn't really matter. Snuggle Base has this game. Snuggle Base has this game in the bag. It's pretty obvious. Even if Icons had, like, roaches everywhere, it would be... It would be still over. Just that Thunderbird, that, those Thunderbirds really, getting Swifts as soon as the Thunderbirds was noticed and then using that to kill off the Thunderbirds, that would have been a better idea. But at this point, the Thunderbirds have just won the game. Thunderbird totally won, I mean, okay, it was a few things. Partly it was Icons not investing enough into economy early on, but the Thunderbird really clinched it. Yeah, that was surprisingly one-sided. So what did we learn today? When you go for aggression, go for aggression. And Thunderbirds really need to be dealt with as soon as possible. So anyway, that was that. The next game is going to be El Torero versus Yurga on Desert Plateaus. It should be much more even and much more interesting. Sorry, but that was kind of... It was... I mean, Icons did kind of shoot themselves in the foot. So that'll be up in a couple minutes, so stay tuned.